will talk about the theorems on kite. So, parang kasunod lang to nung diniscuss natin which is the theorems on trapezoids. Ano-ano nga ba yung dapat natin malaman sa theorems on kite? So, we only have two theorems to tackle, which are theorem number 10 and theorem number 11. Let's go! So, bago tayo magsimula is, naaalala ko lang nung bata pa kami is, madalas siglaro ko kami ng saranggola sa labas, wala pang mga gadgets, wala pang gaanong social media, and nasa labas ka lang, maglalaro ka. Kasi ngayon, more on intrapersonal tayo eh. Nasa bahay lang, maglalaro, or nag-Facebook, unlike dati, more on socialization talaga. Nakikipaglaro sa mga bata, nakikipag-away, uuwi ka, magsusumbong ka, tapos ikaw po yung mapapagalitan. Diba? Ang saya dati, yung napaka-relax lang, walang toxicity. Sana bumalit yung dating ganun. Let's move on. First one is theorem number 10. In a kite, the perpendicular bisector of at least one diagonal is the other diagonal. Ano nga ba yan? We have a given which is kite pick with the diagonals of line segment PC and line segment IK. Line segment PC is a perpendicular bisector of line segment IK. Line segment PC, line segment IK. Line segment PI is congruent to line segment PK. Tandaan natin itong mga to, medyo marami sila. Line segment IC is congruent to line segment KC. Next, angle PISP, IS, so si I yung basya natin. Angle PIS is congruent to angle PKS. So, ito yan. Angle IPS, IPS is congruent to angle KPS. This one yung gitna. Angle P ang basya natin. Silang dalawa daw is congruent sila. Next, angle ICS, ICS, so ito yan, is congruent to angle KCS. So, this is the angle. Basihan ulit natin si angle C. Depende na lang yan yung sa mga kasama niyang letters. And lastly, angle CIS, CIS, is congruent to angle CKS. So, this one. Yung dalawang yan is congruent sila. So, bibigyan natin ng example para mas madali niyong maintindihan. So, say for example, line segment PI is equal to 10. Also, line segment PK is also 10. Next is, line segment IC is equal to 15. Also, line segment KC is also 15. Angle PIS is congruent to angle P. AS. Tignan natin yung example natin. If angle PIS is equal to 30 degrees, also, angle PKS is also 30 degrees. Angle IPS is congruent to angle KPS. Bigyan natin ng example. If angle IPS is 25 degrees, also, angle KPS is also 25 degrees. Angle CIS is congruent to angle CKS. Example, 40 degrees, angle CIS. Also, angle CKS is equal to 40 degrees. And lastly, angle ICS is congruent to angle KCS. Example, if angle ICS is equal to 15, angle KCS is equal to 15 degrees also. Let's move on to theorem number 11. The area of a kite is half the product of the length of its diagonals. So parang ito yung gagawin natin formula to find the area of a given kite. We have a given which is kite time with the diagonals of line segment IE and line segment MT or our diagonals. The area of kite time is equal to one half the product of the two diagonals which are line segment IE and line segment MT. Example, line segment IE is equal to 10 cm. Line segment MT is equal to 24 cm. Yung dalawang given natin yan is yun yung mga diagonals natin. So, ang ating tanong is what is the area of kite time? We will use the formula area of the kite time is equal to 1 half the product of the two diagonals which are line segment IE and line segment MT. 
One, two, three, four, five. So one half multiplied by the two diagonal. Next is we will multiply ten and twenty-four. It is equal to two forty. And then divide two forty to two. The answer is one hundred twenty centimeter square. Why do we have centimeter square? Because whenever we find the area of a given figure, lage yung exponent natin is squared. Tandaan nyo yan. And centimeter is given yan. Paano naman kung given yung area natin and hinahanap natin is yung isang diagonal? Ang sabi dito, the area of the kite time is equal to 170 centimeter squared. And the other diagonal which is line segment MT is equal to 68 centimeters. Ang pinakatanong natin, what is the measurement of line segment IT? So this how it goes. Our formula is area of kite time is equal to one half the product of the two diagonals, which are line segment ID and line segment MT. Next is 170 is equal to one half the product of IE and our MT, which is 68. Next is we will cross multiply C2. Ako kung tasa kay 170. So ang nangyari is two times 170 is equal to line segment IE multiplied by 68. Next is 340 na kuha yan dito sa 2 times 170 is equal to bring down which is IE and 68. Next is ikakancel natin kung sino yung kasama nung nawawala. Again, which is IE. Ang kasama niya ay si 68. So we will divide both sides by 68. So makakancel yan, 340 over 68. So ang IE natin is equal to 5 centimeters. So eto yung magiging isa pa nating diagonal. So yun yung process niya. Area man yung nawawala or diagonal yung nawawala is nasa dalawang to yung gagamitin natin na formula. So that's all for today. So sana is natuto na naman kayo sa ating discussion about kite. And pwede nyo i-share tong video na to kung sa tingin nyo is makakatulong ko sa mga kaibigan nyo. Magtulungan kayong in a way na huwag kayong magkopyahan. Kundi tulungan nyo yung isa nyo kaklase or kung sino man yung nangangailangan ng tulong nyo, i-discuss nyo sa kanya or pwede i-share nyo itong video sa kanya. Para mas maganda, mag-like and subscribe ka na and i-click mo na rin yung notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga susunod nating videos. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig at nag-stay ulit kayo dito sa ating panibagong topic. Sana ay sumay pa yung mga natin yung mga susunod nating video lessons. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo. Keep safe and God bless us all.